got a very simple dumpling skin or dumpling wrapper recipe here for you. Just two ingredients. We've got some plain flour and some recently boiled water. So we're going to mix this together. Now, it's it, this is perfect for making gyoza or gyoza, depending on where you're from and how you pronounce it, but sort of a, a water-based dumpling or a hot water-based dumpling skin. So I'm going to add a little bit of water at a time until this just comes together. And then we'll give it a, a quick knead until it's nice and soft and pliable. And then we're gonna let it rest and I'll show you what to do next, how to roll these out. So our dough is able to come away completely from the side and come together there. So I'm going to let it rest sort of at least 20 minutes before we start our next step. But it's all come together very, very easily. So two ingredients for our gyoza skin or pot sticker dumplings. So you can fill them however you like. I'll show you what to do next when I've let this have a rest. So as you can see, not a lot of a visual change. It's a little bit cooler to the touch because we've sort of let it have that time to relax. I'm gonna cut this into half just to make it a little bit more manageable. Or if you've got a few helpers, cut it into as many pieces as you need. So I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a roll to get it back into a bit of a round shape to give me a bit of a head start. And then I'm gonna start to pull it from the inside out to create a large ring or a donut dough, <laughs> a dough donut. <laughs> All right, I'm quite happy with that. It's got a nice bit of bounce to it, so I know that the, they're going to maintain their shape. I'm gonna pop a little bit more flour on my board. So all that effort to make it into a ring and we're actually going to cut it now and make it into one long sausage. So you can see I've cut it that way and we've got sort of a slightly elongated curve shape. So I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees so that the next shape is the opposite. <laughs> so we've got a curve shape that goes that way and then a curve shape that goes that way. Now we've got our small rolling pin here. So I'm going to gently press down on that flat surface and turn it. Roll, turn, roll, turn. And then I'm going to start rolling only the edges out so that I actually have a thicker center. Because we're cooking pot stickers, I quite like having a sturdier base in the center there because that's gonna cop the most heat. Pull out, turn and roll. So I'm just gonna finish off these dumpling wrappers and coming up, I'm gonna show you a beautiful curried prawn recipe to fill them with. Gyoza or pot stickers have become so popular Australia-wide, but I'm gonna show you a couple of little tips and tricks to make them very tasty on your own home. And it's actually quite a therapeutic process. So I'm gonna make a curry prawn dumpling here. So we'll get started on our filling so that we can fill our dumpling wrappers and then I'll get started on the next dipping sauce. So into our bowl, we've got some diced prawn meat. So then we have some snow peas. So we have some fresh ginger. a Little bit of sweetener of your choice. So I've got a stevia monk fruit combo here, but you could use sugar or you could leave it out entirely if you wish. And then some spring onions. I'm also going to finely slice those. All straight into our bowl. We've got our curry sauce mix. So we're going to use one whole packet of that which for this amount of filling is ideal. So I've got our recently boiled water, which I'm just gonna pour over this curry paste. And we'll just break it up, make a nice little slurry, which is going to form the base of our sauce. So we've broken up our curry paste. I'm just going to pour it all over our 
our prawn mix so we can give it a good stir through and start filling our dumpling wrappers. So just enough water in there because we will have some water come out of our veggies and our prawns. So we're going to get our dumpling wrapper here, our gyoza wrapper. So we've got a nice little plump base because that's the part that's going to be in contact with the heat. So we do want that nice little chunk of our filling there. Make sure that you've got a little bit of everything. So I've got a bowl of water here just to help me seal our dumplings around the edges. So I'm going to fold over the, the middle first, pinch that, and then I'm going to use my other hand to pinch towards the center. So we should have somewhere between seven and nine folds. It's always easy to start in the center because then you've got somewhere to grip. Now we've got our first dumpling. So I'll finish the rest and then we'll start frying. So we've got our little dumplings here made. Just gonna make enough for a single serve today. I'm going to heat up our fry pan with a little bit of peanut oil and sesame oil so that we've got some flavor as well as our non-sticking agent. We're cooking them so it's got a nice crispy bottom. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of water, put the lid on, allow the rest of the pastry to steam through, and then we can serve them with our sauce. So I've got some tamari and then some rice vinegar, some fresh grated ginger, sweetener of your choice. You could use stevia or xylitol or sugar if you wish, and then sesame oil to taste. I quite like a bit of mine. So very pleasantly, even though these are called pot stickers or otherwise known as pot stickers, these gears are haven't stuck to our pot, but they do have a nice crusty bottom. So we're gonna have the crusty bottom texture with the soft, really silky dumpling skin at the top. So that's ready for me to add a little bit of water and then they're going to steam for a couple minutes once I put the lid on and then we can serve them with our dipping sauce. So our gyoza have had about two to three minutes on the bottom, getting a nice crusty bottom. And then they've had six to eight minutes steaming. So we know that that prawn is gonna be cooked through in the middle. Nice and soft pastry. Now you can see why this is a fun thing to do with family and or friends, and then to get around together and enjoy them. So there we have my golden curried prawn gyoza with a beautiful little dipping sauce there. You don't have to go out for them anymore. You can make them at home yourselves. <laughs>